Right, and three diamonds, I believe, is all I need to make the drill arm. So, I had a bunch of diamonds recently. Turns out they actually are useful for something. Who would have thought that diamonds were useful? Right, so, see what upgrades. Ah, I didn't get the crystals up. I knew I didn't. How many do I have? One. There's definitely at least one. Uh, there's lots. Good. Okay, Mark II. Done. Right, so the Mark III is, costs another two plasteel. But I want to use the remaining plasteel to make the drill arm for the prawn suit, and that which needed three diamonds and the plasteel. So let's go and build that drill arm. Now this will let me mine those big rocks that I've been wondering how you mine for a long, long time. And then I should be able to uh, get titanium faster, hopefully. That's the plan. So we'll give you your left arm, and we'll give you the compensator Mark II, which puts me down to 1,300 meters. Man, that's a freaking long way down. Now the problem I have now is that I don't know how I'm going to get back up. Because we haven't got jump jets, so that's a little bit worrying. I'm going to put the rest of this stuff in the chest, and then we can go and mine with the new improved prawn suit. Right, let's get some melons, and then we'll go mining. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, delicious melons. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Let's take a couple with us, even though they will no doubtedly go mouldy in minutes. And uh, also, let's get a few seeds to replant with. Boop, perfect. All right, let's take the now. Do we do we take the cyclops? We take the cyclops, or we just just go around in the prawn? I want to go deep down in this thing. Welcome aboard, Captain. So we got the, the oh fucking hell, oh god. I'm sorry, reef back. Oh my god, I've totally spazzed him out. Shit! What just happened? <laughs> I think the prawn suit blew up. I think this wreath back spazzed me halfway across the bloody world. And then the prawn suit blew up. There's bits of it. And we hit a reaper. For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, come on. That's not fair. <laughs> that shouldn't count. How does this always happen when I get a new thing? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> ah. Joy. Well, there goes the pros. Is there anything I can salvage at all? Just, oh, fuck. Oh, I guess I'm going to start making my way home. I flew like 300 meters. I hope my base is okay. That thing was really spazzing out around that base. What are the odds? Okay, what are the fucking odds of it flying me into a reaper? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, is it still there? Is my base still intact? It looks like it's alright. The Cyclops is still there. Let's have a look inside, see if it's... he's gone, at least. Mr. Spazzy McSpazzpants. No, that's alright. Well, I've got to make a new prawn suit. Shit. I built a new one, and I've got the same upgrades right now, I think. Yeah, the prawn crafting arm and a drill arm, and, um,. Man, like, Jesus Christ, that was pretty pretty brutal. This time we're going to name it, because it's lucky to name a vehicle um, before you uh, sail in her. And I will call it... Frickin... Frickin' Prawn. Frickin' Prawn. 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 Frickin' Prawn. Fuck, now do. Um, <laughs> A-U-N. 
Quran. There we go. Um, vehicle color. We're gonna make it a, a lovely shade of um, gray. No. Pink, red. We'll make it bright, freaking prawn colored. That's what we're gonna do. It's gonna look like a prawn. Or, uh, it's kind of like. No. Damn, I don't know. That? That's kind of prawn colour. We'll take the saturation down a little bit. There we go. And um, prawn, and this bit will be um, a beautiful deep red. Sure. Freaking prawn. Done. Let's have a look at her. How does she look? Oh, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Ah. Yes, 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 yes. Right. Uh, let's go make sure we dumped everything we didn't want to take with us. We probably don't want the fire extinguisher book because there's some already on the Cyclops ship. We do not need them. Damn, they just want to shut up. <laughs> I can't help myself. We'll take the spare power set with us and uh, some batteries, of course. Uh, de uh, the beacons, we could make a new decoy. That would be important. Let's say what it costs. Decoy, decoy, decoy. Deployables. Be uh, decoy, decoy, decoy. Copper, wire, and three titanium. Yes, we will do that because we used our first one and it was good actually. It helped, I think. Maybe? I don't know. Um, we do need some more copper though, as always. For wire, deployables, decoy. Okay, we've got the decoy, we've got the prawn, we've got the cyclops, we've got the 1300 depth module, we've got the drill arm, we've got the knife, habitat builder, don't need that, laser cutter, sure, maybe repair tool, scanner, we've got a bottle of water, we've got a flashlight, we've got some beacons. Let's go. Let's go on an adventure. It's an adventure. Oh, it worked this time. Oh, good. Okay, let's try the drill arm. Woo! Whoa! Damn! Um. Thrill! Okay. Is that gonna hurt creatures though? Because the other arm, um, the punching thing did. I think it looks like it. I mean, it should do, right? You hold it out and just like go at them. Oh, yes, it does! Didn't kill it though. Surprise can be. Hey, what's that? Blue thing. We've been in the south before. What's this? What is that? What's 2,000 meters away? <gasps> Could that... That's the sea moth. How did he get over there? Oh my god! The sea moth went that far when we got... He got knocked by the thing? Holy shit! I'm gonna have to go and get that back. Maybe with the Cyclops, not with this thing. This thing's too slow. I wanna see if I can beat up this guy though. Yeah! <laughs> I hooked onto him! Oh shit! Fucking die! <laughs> I'm not sure if they can die. Is it dead? Not happy. <laughs> I tried killing my thing when I think it like this before, didn't I? I just didn't die. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> ah, so our first mineral deposit. Okay. Ah, it does break. How do I pick stuff up without this? Oh no! Without the other arm, I don't think I can pick stuff up. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. Oh, having to pick arms is really is really sad, actually. Oh no! I like being able to pick stuff up. Oh, hello, big quartz deposit. So. I can latch onto things and maybe ride them, is the impression I get. Yeah! Take me! 
Where are you gonna take me, bitch? I wanna go where you go. Ouch, you bit me. Yeah. Don't like that, they do. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> it's like Attack on Titan. <laughs> we can go pretty deep in this thing, so maybe it's worth just exploring. Kind of want to see. I oh, kind of want to take the arm out and use the pickup arm. Never mind. Hello. You want some? You fucking want some? Yeah, eat it! Ouch, that actually did a lot of damage. This is so far away! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh, these guys are pretty annoying, aren't they? This, they're, they're dis oh my god, they just are not happy happy bunnies. And they, you can't kill them once, you, once you've uh, drilled them, they just vanish. I feel like I should be taking the Cyclops over to this thing. It's too far away. Look how far away that is. Seamoth rescue time. Oh man. Boop. Let's go back. Let's go back and get the Cyclops. Whoa! Bound boy! I'll drill you. you! Should learn by now not to fuck with me. And you. Yeah, bring it. Yeah! Yeah, go on! Yeah. Well, I kinda wanna find like a cave system to go in. What's this? Mercury. Huh. I don't think I've found that before. Maybe it's worth hanging out here looking for some more of that. Who knows what it's for, but I'm sure there'll be a use for it. Maybe we take off the drill arm. Didn't see super useful. The punch arm is probably as good for punching, but it can also pick stuff up, which is handy. So we'll keep we'll keep the drill arm for now. We can always get out and pick stuff up, and then we can't drill big things, so it's like we might as well do what we can. What's the mercury for? Heat in O2 to acquire refined mercury. I'm sure that'll be useful at some point. Let's have a couple of melons before we go and see if we can recover the sea moth. For some reason, it's gone a million miles. Poor sea moth. <laughs> just got battered across the world. No! That kind of works. Yeah, that works. You can use a grappling hook to get on. Right, so... We can't access the upgrades from here. That's really annoying, actually. You need a moon pool. Oh well, we'll put uh, our decoy in. And we will fly away. 86%. We didn't charge. Okay, well, we're fine. We've got loads of power left. Um, we do actually have a spare power cell on us. There you go. So if it goes... It does run out of power, we've got some. Right, so we want to go to towards where the sea moth is, which is, I think, direct, directly south. There he is. Stay on the surface. Don't want to get too low. Yeah, it's your fault I had to do all that work, you big bastard. <laughs> Man, it's 2000 is a freaking long way. I'm going to occasionally use our speed. When this is overheating, we're going to stop. Slow down. Oh, we're getting attacked. A couple of pricks behind us. Decide they want to bite a giant metal thing. Yeah, what do you think of that, you crazy bastard? Bloody hell. Fire. Okay. We have fire. There's a fire. I caused a fire. Oh my god. I set the engine on fire. Man, what's the point of fucking emergency speed but just catches everything on fire? Seriously. It's, it doesn't even last that long, like, freaking quickly as well. Holy shit, the power cells are on fire, that's pretty bad. 
You good? You good? Man. That was close. Ah, oh, we need to go and repair. God damn it. What the fish do to me? Well, I was safe against those little buggers. I need to, like, put an armor upgrade in this if there is one. Yeah, there's a fire. Just no warning at all. No warning at all. Uh, use, I remember hearing, like, a, a warning kind of, um, warning engine overheating thing before, but not this time. What a fucking fire extinguisher. Luckily, that was it. Man. Phew. Okay. That's gone. Uh. Is it still empty? What's the point of putting an empty one back? So we just should just never use emergency speed, honestly. It's dumb. Why is it even there? It should give you like a, a thing like it says like, Are you sure you want to use emergency speed? It will catch your engine on fire almost instantly. <laughs> I guess if you want to run away from like a reaper, you get like 10 seconds of emergency speed. And then you drop down again. Let's see, it's very blue here. Oh, fuck! I brought the prawn suit with me. I can't put the... Ah, Duncan, you idiot. I, don't, I can't pick up the bloody seam off of the prawn suits here. Let's go back. Return trip. Okay, I'm coming up to the sea moth. I can't see shit. Let's go and get it. Hopefully it's okay. It's it can't be destroyed because it would have not been there. Fuck. Very dark. There he is. There he is. What's he at? It's my repair tool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. It's uh hundred percent health. Weird, that was strange. Oh, it's so dark though. There you go, lights. Good! We saved the sea moth. Thank goodness for that. I left the prawn by the base pretty much. So now we've got another two thousand meter journey back. To base. Oh my god. Well, um, I think I'll stop there for today. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Uh, we will eventually find what to do next, I think, when we get more messages. Apparently, there are nine subjects out there. I'm not sure what that means, but it's pretty exciting. I just need to keep exploring the deep areas, I think, until I find something. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I've got the prawn suit, which can go super, super deep. I'll uh, try and upgrade the Seamoth also so I can go super deep. And then we can maybe um, actually go really far into these these deep, scary places. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm a little bit scared of these big, big old monsters, though. Like the ones that killed this shit before. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!